We all knew, we all knew that this story was going to get worse before it got better. And the news between yesterday and today, guys, everything that has happened so far, it is just the tip of the iceberg. And this, guys, is incredible. Incredible. Sandro Tonali today goes to La Procura, gave himself up, gave the statement, and we find out that not only did he bet on soccer, he actually bet on Milan games, guys. Yes, he bet on Milan games while being at Milan. And so, as of right now, Illicito Sportivo is not on the table because they've uh, determined that he didn't have an influence in those games. But could you imagine? Could you imagine if they do actually prove that, no, you know what? You didn't have an influence in this game. And could you imagine? Could you imagine if they prove that somebody at Milan knew about this? the damage you would do to your career that you've already done, by the way, it's not that you will do, you've already done, because they're talking about excluding him for at least a year, as I'm spitting everywhere, at least a year, right? You could get the club in very serious trouble, guys. Very serious trouble. And now you've put your old club in trouble. You put your new club in trouble because... Newcastle just spent almost 80 million euros on you and now they're going to lose you for over a year. And although Newcastle came out and said, we're going to support the kid, the family, you know, we want to help him. You just made them lose a full season of your contract, of your contract that they just paid 80 million euros for. Makes no sense. And then you have that hammer Fajoli, hammer Fajoli, because Fajoli, yes, he came out. He said, you know what? I was involved. They gave him seven months outside the field so seven months banned from the field plus five rehabilitation can they do it concurrently i have no idea but just to say so he gets seven plus five guys okay there's a picture of him there's a picture of him crying during the sassuolo game instead of keeping his mouth shut because everybody was saying you know what uh the kid was disappointed he gave it his all it didn't work out well you know it was a tough time for you but he comes out and says no I actually i was crying because i was thinking of my three million euro gambling debt but why don't you shut your mouth and keep it for yourself who needs to know about this and then he did not just name uh, tonali gay guys he named gatti whose name came out by corona who is the source of all of this right he has a source that's giving him all these names and so corona comes out and says the three new names al sharawi who was the uh, replacement for the players of the national team he says he's involved gatti is involved and casale from lazio these are the new names and he says that he has another 40 to give out but now think about it in terms of Serie A and the italian national team they're going to make an example of fagioli Tonali, maybe Zagnolo. Can they afford to give a year ban or a season's ban to another 40 players? What if 25 of those 40 players are like the top Serie A players? What are you going to do? You're going to kill Serie A. And this is why I think they're going to make an example of these players. But the rest of the uh, sentences might be reduced. And when I mean reduced, I mean by a lot. Because they can't afford to lose that many players. They can't afford to lose, imagine, 20 Italian Serie A players that play for the Italian national team. Because who are they going to call up? Serie A B? The under-21s? In a year where Serie A is renegotiating for a new TV deal, you are going to tell me they are going to risk taking out 25, 30 40 players playing in Serie A. Impossible. Impossible. And then, of course, Corona saying that Juventus knew about this. They didn't do anything about it. But uh, Juventus coming out and saying, no, we did uh, find out about Fagioli and we gave his name to the proper authorities as soon as we found out. But now you find out that Gatti is involved as well because not only did uh, Fagioli ask him for money, so he knew about it, but he himself was involved in this. And then you have that other ham of Esposito, because Esposito was an ex-Inter uh, talent that they gave away this season, who is listening to the uh, Corona interview, where there's an audio tape of Corona talking to his source, which is sort of blurred, or you can't see it. I don't know, I didn't see it. But you could hear the voice. And he recognizes the voice. 
and you recognize that it's his uncle. It's his uncle. Oh, guys, this story is going to end so badly, like so badly. And Corona is promising more names, some important names. Guys, I can't wait to see how all this is going to finish, but it won't end well for Italian Serie A and Italian soccer. Guaranteed, guaranteed. Already we're seeing the fallout. Could you imagine if you find out that Milan knew about Tonali? Like it would be a disaster, a disaster, a disaster. Uh, if you find out that Juventus knew about Gatti, Fagioli, and maybe other players. If you find out that Roma knew about Zalinski but said nothing, even though he is saying he didn't do anything. If you find out that they knew about El Sharawi and didn't do anything. Guys, the repercussions of this could be devastating for Serie A. Incredible. Let me know what you think around the comments. Like and subscribe.